tangent from an external point. So what this means, and I'm just going to try and explain this diagram a little bit, is if we have two lines that are tangent to a circle, and these two lines are tangent right here, um, from an external point, and that's where this external point is here, then that tells us that these two lines have to be the same. Or another way here, a little more compact, is if two lines are tangent to a circle and have the same end point as an external point, external means outside the circle, then the, lengths, then the lines are equal in length. So that's just a fairly straightforward theory, but this also tells us that this is 90, this is 90. Now, if that's true, if they're tangent, another thing that comes out of this is this angle in here, and angle P, must add up to 180 degrees because these are a four or this is a four-sided figure. This is 90, this is 90. They all have to add up to 360, so those two have to equal 180 degrees. Now, that's only true, and I'm going to specify this, only true if it comes from an external point. So we have this external point here. It's not true if it comes from inside the circle. And you're going to deal with pictures that it comes from inside the circle, and that's not the property, only from a point outside of the circle. So <clears throat> let's look at this question. Here's an example here. Let's find the unknown angle. So we want to find the angle 1 here. Now this is pretty much just as I explained in the last, when I explained the theory, is if this is true, that these are tangent, we know that these lengths are the same. Okay. We also know that those two add up to 90 degrees. Or they're each, sorry, they each are 90 degrees. They don't add up to 90 degrees. Now if they each are 90 degrees, then the remaining two angles must add up to 180 degrees. So if we know that the interior angle, or the angle inside the circle, is 25 degrees, we know that the angle outside, or that from that external point, or in this case, angle 1, must add up to 180 degrees. So, again, we might be able to do this in our head, but I'll just show you here. We can go 25 degrees plus angle 1 must equal 180 degrees. So angle 1 must equal 180 degrees minus 25 degrees, which is 155 degrees. And that's what angle 1 is. Again, fairly straightforward, fairly simple math. It's just a matter of knowing these theories, recognizing the pictures, and being able to solve from there. <coughs>